What's going on, you guys and gals? My name is Slime Golem here. Today, I'll be talking about Destiny lore. And not only Destiny lore, I'll also be talking about the Worm Gods. Now, Worm Gods aren't talked about much in the Destiny universe, and I believe they deserve a bigger role. Like, um... <laughs> anyways, most of Destiny's story isn't even talked about in the game, which is mostly disappointing for us that really like the lore. So the worm gods are these um, really big creatures. They're not worms. They're sometimes described as having large teeth, moth-like creatures, and they have huge power. Now, these are... The worm gods call themselves the darkness. Like, they are the darkness. Um, they are the manifest of darkness manifestation of darkness so as you can see here here are some of the pictures so how the uh, worm gods came to be was Oryx and his two sisters went into the gas giant fundament and well they didn't go not that the worm gods lived in fundament they there were these um, little planets dwarf planets that um, circuited around the uh, big gas giant. And the these worm gods were stuck at, that, at this gas giant for many, many, many years. And that was described in many um, Grimoire cards. And the five names of the worm, guard, worm gods were Akka, Yul, Ir, Zol, and Yur. Sorry about that. In old Destiny fashion, you can't really pronounce it that good. But, um, yeah, so those are the worm gods. And they were d describing... The first one to talk to Oryx and the sisters was Yul, the honest worm. So he talked to Oryx and his sisters, making him sound really, really epic and really, really OP. So um, he was saying that how they were trapped there for millions and millions of years... And how um, the disciple of the Traveler, he, I forget his name right at this point, the disciple of the Traveler stopped anybody from visiting these worm gods. And what these, the worm gods proposed um, a, a theory, sort of, or something that the worm gods would benefit off of a lot. So, a proposal to Oryx and his sisters. So, the proposal basically was that these, that Oryx and his sisters, they would take this larva, they would eat this larva, and they would give it to all the other hive. So, the hive at this point was the proto-hive, and the proto-hive were such weaklings, such, such unpowerful to the hive of these days, that you could high five it and it would just blow apart it's basically like kicking a soccer ball very lightly if it rolled to a proto hive it would explode it was very very weak so the proto hive gave it to the proto hive like um one of the best examples is fogoth gave it to fogoth the untamed and he became powerful which gave them powers so how oryx obtained his power was he um, actually destroyed one of the worms. I believe it was Akka, which held the power of um, the Taken. So that's be when he became Oryx, the Taken King. So, yeah, so that's how Oryx got his power. His sisters, although we do not know what their power, what power they got, so... Um, that's one of the questions we still have to answer um, from these days. But one of the theories that are tossed around a lot these days are there were these, um, after Oryx killed one of the worm gods, there was four left, and they actually escaped the disciple of the Traveler and went on to talk to these dragons in Destiny, Akam. Akamakara. So these Akamakaras are dragons in Destiny, and they are very, very, very powerful. And here are some um, 
pictures of the Akamakara. So these dragons, it is thought to believe that after talking to Oryx, they talked to these dragons, which became very, very powerful. I hope in a further DLC or Destiny 2, which was recently announced, this would be talked about. So, um, the Akamakara, you can see all of the gear. So, many of these, this gear, um, is described and thought to maybe, um, have these powers. And there's many evidence. Here's some of the evidence. So one of the first examples we see is young Akamakara's spine. So one of the best examples in this is that it says, um, fill the world with teeth. So <clears throat> because many of these worm gods are described with very large teeth, that would be a perfect example. Now for this one, there is... It, <laughs> oh, Destiny lore is so gosh darn dark too. It's It's crazy. But... And then this says um, how they grew up on Fundament, and it's a gas giant. So this is also describing, and it's using the same phrase over and over and over again for each of these um, sort of, for these items. So this one's saying um, how hallucinations, it's, it's, it's very, very strange. But there is, if you research it, there's very good data to back it up, um, how they are related, these two um, creatures, so the worm gods and the Akamakara. So, and then it's saying, this is hungry, um, <laughs> and are you not hungry? So that's a great example from, because this is a very, very creepy part, the, um, if they didn't, like, fight other, other, uh, bad guys, they would basically eat the, the, like, uh, worms inside would eat the hive, because that's what, and then, yeah. So if you collect worm spore in Destiny, which is found on the Dreadnought quite a bit, um, you will see that is from when they were eaten. So then there is... Um, evidence of the worm gods, and this is also very, very creepy. These um, Leviathan, and many of these um, Gr Grimoire cards, sorry if I didn't pronounce that properly, um, are from Destiny, and you collect them from the Calcified Fragments, which is actually one of the quests to find um, Touch of Malice. But anyways, these um, Calcified Fragments describe how um, they came and... Um, fundament and a, a lot. Um, they uh, back up the theory of the Akamar, and it's it's a lot to take in. But um, these groomer cards are usually a little scary for me, and they're um, very very creepy. I've only um, these types. I've, I usually only read groomer cards on um, the Cabal or Vex because I'm very intrigued on the uh, how they uh, go into time. But these are, uh, there is, I believe, five um, describing them, but um, the Worm Gods. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Whoa, what episode. Um, so, uh leave a thumbs up or leave a comment saying if you do like this series and you want me to continue Destiny lore, I do enjoy it and I do di love diving deep into this um, Destiny lore because there's so much to talk about. And if I would do an ep another episode, I would definitely do it on the Vex. So, um, any anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section so, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. This is Slime Golem, signing off.